First things first, guys, make sure that you update your software and your firmware. The best place to go is go to here, go to Holly's website over here in the corner, is Holly support. You scroll down to fuel injection, which is right here. Click on fuel injection, choose Terminator X and Terminator X Max. Here you can register, but then here is all of the software. And again, Holly has a video on how to do this. It's super easy. You can download all the information, the firmware and software onto your SD card, then put your SD card into the handheld and then it will update the software and the firmware together. So it's all here on Holly's website and it's pretty awesome and easy. I'll put a link in the description to the video to go to, but for this kind of stuff, go directly to Holly. Do not watch a guy like me making videos. All right, now that you got your firmware software updated with the car on, I'm gonna download from ECU. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm pulling that file that's on the computer on the car. And I've been driving around on the base tune. So the learn table should be updated. Okay. And you can see now it's downloading. And now it's synced. Next, I'm gonna save this file. So I'm gonna save global file as you should see a file pop up. I'm gonna to put today's date. You can see 519 modified Rev2. I'm gonna save this as is. I'm also gonna call it Rev3 because I'm anal and I'm basically saving this to my computer. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at my base fuel table. This is what already has been transferred from previous times I've been driving it around. This is the learn table. I'm gonna transfer the learn table to the base. Now I go back to my base table I'll smooth those values now that they're in here, but I'm going to kind of just leave it for now. I'm also going to hit save. And now at least the learn table has been transferred to the base table. 